instructor and he's shown some natural talent and we became friends and uh, he's sitting in the truck this year and he's doing a great job and we're hoping to get him the rookie of the year before the end of the season. Well, it looks like uh, if he keeps driving like this, that should be something that's happening. Meanwhile, back in the pack. Waterford, Connecticut, it's a speedboat, it's notorious, the boat dines have raced here, it's just you name it in racing, they probably raced here. It's very exciting, it's our first top three, so we're really pumped. Good day. The truck weighs 2,750 pounds with the driver. Uh, they're automatics. We usually run them in second gear at all the short tracks. We probably do 116 down the end of the straightaways. Here we're probably doing maybe 85 to 90. I don't see a lot of black drivers around, you know? Not even, not even the grandstand either. I don't see a lot of black people either, you know? Uh, I'm really happy for him, you know? It's just all it needs. It needs just take ambition to do it, you know? And a lot of determination, you know? Yeah, I think you make it. Driving, and this is a guy named Mark Lowry. And Mark, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we've seen your rise through racing. Tell us about that uh, progression into the uh, All Star race trucks. It's, it's just been an amazing quick trip to where we are now. And uh, you're up for Rookie of the Year in the division, and it looked like this afternoon you were a man on a mission. But you've concentrated more on the circle track than anything else. Yeah, that's where uh, you know, I grew up, around circle track racing. Now, you grew up in New York City? I actually grew up in Bristol, Connecticut. Bristol, Connecticut. Well, it looks like we're going to go back to racing here, and uh, we want to thank you for coming up in Santa's Mark. It's always a pleasure to see you. Hey, thank you.